Hello, this is Mighty Owl. You wake up one morning, you go to the bathroom and turn on the light. Hmm? Huh? Nothing happens. No power. You manage to go through your morning routine. You go to the kitchen, open the refrigerator, but your favorite juice is warm. And the milk has gone bad. Yikes. What other ways do you depend on electricity in your daily life? You can't make toast for breakfast, and your parents can't make coffee, and then they're super grumpy. From preparing food, to keeping the house warm, to using a variety of appliances, there are so many ways that electricity is a part of our lives. But what exactly is electricity? Basically, it's a type of energy that can flow from one place to another. This energy flows and travels along a path, also known as a circuit. In order for electricity to constantly flow, the circuit needs to be closed. Think of it like a loop. A circuit could be as simple as a wire connected from beginning to end. Or it can be as complicated as the wiring system of a house, where one electrical power source provides electricity to all of the appliances and outlets throughout the entire house. Electricity will flow from its power source, travel throughout the loop, or circuit, and finish back at the power source. Electricity flowing through a circuit is called a current. In our daily life, we harness electricity to power our homes, our appliances, and technology. We figured out how to create circuits and how to control the flow of electricity through wires and other materials that conduct electricity. Some materials can carry electricity better than others. We call those conductors. Metals are great electrical conductors, which is why you never want to stick a fork into an outlet. The metal fork will carry the electrical current and it'll shock you. Electricity can also flow through other things like water, for example. That's why if there's ever a thunderstorm and lightning, everybody has to get out of the pool. The water can conduct electricity. And if lightning strikes the water, everybody would get shocked. Uh-oh. Now materials that don't carry electricity are called insulators. Wood rubber, or plastic are good insulators. That's why wires in our electronic devices are usually wrapped in a plastic coating to prevent the electricity from traveling outside the wire. Different combinations of conductors and insulators can be used to control the flow of electricity. Some of our electronics need to be plugged into a socket or outlet to access the electricity. But other electronics can use batteries instead to control the flow of electrical current. The invention of the battery has had a huge impact on our technology. Think of how crowded our wall sockets would be if we had to plug every single device into the wall. Do you remember the old days when phones were attached to the wall? Well, you probably don't, but I'm sure you can still appreciate how convenient cell phones are. And it's thanks to their batteries that we can take them with us wherever we go. Electricity is also known as an energy carrier, which means it can be converted to other forms of energy, such as heat, light, and even sound. For example, once you plug in your electrical heater and turn it on, you create a circuit, which allows electricity to flow, and then you get heat as a result. Or maybe you plug in your lamp and turn it on, creating a circuit, which allows electricity to flow, and you get light as a result. Okay, so when a circuit is created, electricity can flow through it, and we can use it for many things in our lives. But where do we get the electricity from in the first place? Well, it's good to know that electricity comes from a secondary energy source. This means that our electricity comes from the conversion of other sources of energy. For example, we can burn coal, or natural gas, or oil, or we can harness other natural resources. We call those primary sources. Once we gather the primary source and transform it to make a new type of energy, we now have a secondary source. For example, we can burn coal to make electricity. Or, we can harness solar power from the sun to create electricity. 
Most of our electric energy is usually produced in electric plants. As you can see, electricity is all around us. Electricity is the flow of electrical power. We get it from the conversion of other sources of energy, like burning coal or natural gases, or other natural sources, like the sun, or the wind, or even water. As an energy carrier, electricity can be used to power your lights, to charge your phone, to help you cook dinner, or to keep you warm. Others are bad electrical carriers, and we call them insulators. Electricity can do so many things. Can't wait to tell you more mighty stories. Join me in the next video lesson.